Out of the box, the units will look like this. All we have to do is connect them together and program them in the desired fashion, which is all listed in the book. First thing you're going to do is connect the white wires together. Next, connect the red wires together. Connect those red wires to your power supply. And then finally, connect your black wires together. And connect those to your power supply. Okay, because they're both programmed for the same pattern, they come up together synchronized. If they happen to be in different patterns, what you can do is take the two green wires, one from each light, tie them together, and then tap them to the black wire until it flashes one time. And that would put them into the synchronized mode, so flashing together. If you want a different pattern in the synchronized mode, touch and release. You can see they're synchronized to pattern 2. Now if you want them to alternate, I'm going to disconnect the green wire from each other. And then I'm going to take the green wire, hold it to ground until it flashes three times, which will put us into phase 2. Now we're in phase two pattern one. Now this one's in phase two pattern two, or phase one pattern two. So in order to get that into phase two pattern two, touch the ground one time. And now they're alternating and synchronized together. From that point, if you don't like that pattern, you can go again and tie the green wires together. Touch them to ground and we'll cycle through the patterns. Okay, the next option is steady burn option. In order to get the steady burn mode, first we'll power up the light. Then we'll take your green wire and attach that to the ground lead until it flashes six times. Now your entire light is in the steady burn pattern. If you want to exit the steady burn pattern, go to right, go to a regular pattern, take the green line, touch it to ground, and you're back to pattern one. Now if you wanted to have this so that half of it is steady burn and half of it is flashing, take your green with white wire, which is your split enable wire, attach that to 12 volts. Your light will start to alternate within itself. Now take your green wire, just as before, hold it to ground until it flashes six times. So now you're in half of it flashing, half of it steady. If you want to change your pattern on the part that's flashing, just toggle the green wire to ground just like you would if it was in flashing mode. Still synchronizable. Now if you want to take this and swap the sides of it so that this side is steady and this side is flashing, say you had red here and blue here, take your green wire to ground until it flashes five times. Now you can see this side steady and this side is flashing. In order to exit the half steady, half flashing mode, what you're going to do is take the green wire to ground Hold it six times and that will toggle you out of steady burn half, flashing half. Now you're back to split flashing. Move the green with white wire if you want to. And the whole thing's flashing. In order to best program your DLX4 or DLX6, you should look at the instruction sheet and review the patterns in order to choose one that you like. You'll notice there's two phases, phase one and phase two, which duplicate the patterns. This is so that you can program one to alternate with the other head, or multiple heads to alternate 
with multiple other heads, like we did in the demo. You'll notice that there's some easy shortcuts to get you quickly to the patterns you want. If you hold the line down for three seconds until it flashes once, you get to the beginning of phase one. Nine seconds until it flashes three times, beginning of phase two. And 18 seconds until it flashes six times, go to the study pattern.